I'm Anil Kumar and with the help of this video, I'll explain you a very simple technique of writing rational function from given conditions. The question here is, write the equation of a rational function that has a graph with all of the following properties. x intercept at x equals to 3, y intercept at y equals to minus 1, whole at x equals to minus half, vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 3 over 2, and horizontal asymptote at y equals to half. Now, whenever you have this type of a function, then I'll prefer to start from the whole itself and then find an equation for vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote and then get back to the intercepts. Now, when we have whole at x equals to minus half, what does it mean? It really means that we have a common factor in numerator and denominator which should be 0 for minus half. So that factor has to be 2x plus 1. So we have 2x plus 1 in both numerator and denominator. So that is how you can take care of whole. Now let's look into the second part which I prefer to go by vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 3 over 2. That means denominator should be 0 for x equals to minus 3 over 2. So that gives us a value of 2x. So that is dividing plus 3. Do you see that? So if I write x as minus 3 over 2, I will get this factor as 0. So that gives me vertical asymptote for x equals to minus 3 by 2. Now let's look into the horizontal asymptote at y equals to half. Now y equals to half horizontal asymptote means that we have same degree in numerator and denominator. That means same degree, right? Same degree of numerator and denominator. Is that okay? That's what it means when I say horizontal asymptote at y equals to half. And it also means that the leading coefficients should be 1 over 2, right? That means if I have, now in the numerator, I have leading coefficient of 2. Rather, I have to have a factor, another factor, so that they have the same degree. Degree of denominator is 2 of 1 in the numerator, so I have to make degree 2. So I have to multiply by a factor. Now, the coefficient of that factor should be such that the ratio is 1 over 2. Now we have 1 is a good number to take. 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 2 will give me 4. 2 divided by 4 is half. So that takes care of it. Do you see that? So that is how I can take care of the same degree and horizontal asymptote of half. Do you see that part? Now let us look into the x-intercept or y-intercept for that matter, right? So when we say x-intercept is 3, it means what? It means that if y is 0, right? For at x-intercept, it means y equals to 0. Is that okay? So y equals to 0 means numerator is 0 for x equals to 3, right? So that is possible if I have a factor which is x minus 3. You get the point. Now if I write x equals to 3, in that case, 3 minus 3 is 0, so I'll get f of x as 0. So I get my function f of x equals to 0 for x equals to 3. Correct? Now we should check what y-intercept. Does it have the same y-intercept as asked for? Or sometimes we may have to do some changes. y-intercept is a point where x is equals to 0, right? So if I write x as 0, I get 1 times minus 3 in the numerator and 1 times plus 3 in the denominator. Minus 3 divided by plus 3 is minus 1, so that is also correct. So with that, actually both becomes true, correct? 
So that is how we can actually write equation for a rational function. I hope you understand and appreciate the steps. You can go through this video once again and see and understand why I took the particular approach starting with whole then moving to this step then there and then 4 and 5. These steps in order will always get you the right answer with minimum effort. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.